Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is Friday, July 10th, 2009, and we're going to get right to this one today because it's a little complicated and takes a little bit longer, and I only have 10 minutes that I can do use for each of these videos. So we're working on what's called a pteranodon. It's a, some kind of a dinosaur, flying dinosaur. It uses a regular piece of origami paper, so get your supplies in order and we'll get started right away. To start out today, you want to have your paper with the colored side facing you, and you're going to fold it in half and open it back up in both directions. Now next, what you want to do is to fold the top two corners over and down to the center point like this. And then you're going to fold this point here over to this point here like that. This top point to this side and the fold is happening right at the corner here so it'll come all the way down parallel to the bottom when you make this fold. like that. Then you're going to open this this up and you're going to do the same fold in the other direction. So you're going to bring now the point here to this corner. So over like that. And you're folding it right at the the bottom corner here so that this comes parallel to the bottom of the piece. Like that and then open it back up. And then just fold it one more time backwards. You've already got a fold in that uh, direction from the first time that you did it, but you want to fold it backwards. And when you do that then it will start to collapse in on itself where this, where this fold is. So encourage it to go ahead and do that and it'll fold down this way and then collapse down like that. Now our next couple of folds. What we're going to do is first to fold these side flaps here over to the center like that. Then fold the top little corner back right at that at this level here and then you're going to open these back up open them back up and then put your finger under here so that you can uh, I have to <laughs> you want to, you're going to pull this up, this top flap here, kind of like a, a bird's beak. You're pulling this up and when you do that you'll see where you just made those little uh, folds up at the top here and then opened it back up, you're going to use those folds now to open this all the way up so it's like a baby bird here, right, looking for food and then Fold it over like that. So when you're done, it will look like this. Now fold your piece in half. And you're folding it in half toward this bit that we just completed. So fold it in half. And then, this next little move, a little tricky, you want to hold uh, two fingers here and then grab, see how there's a little bit of a flap right here? You're going to grab this bit and pull it out. And you want to pull this to the point where um, this part here then is parallel with the ground. And you know, you can actually hold it, it's a little easier I think if you hold it up at this level here. Pull this out, 
see how now it's it's kind of parallel and then pinch together pinch this down like that so now this line here is parallel with the bottom here and the bottom of of this little like beak type piece is sort of parallel to the bottom here next you're going to fold and this is going to be kind of a the wing <laughs> Hello. the wing portion of this of this uh, creature so you're folding the this part up and you're gonna go from right where this point is to this point here to do your fold so up like that flip it around same thing on this side you're going from the point there to the point here so flip it up and that's the wing portion. Now the last couple of uh, folds on this are a little tricky and uh, I'm going to show you this is you know we folded our wings up like this right and then this is the look that we're going for it's uh, sort of a three direction fold that um, starts in the middle here on each of the wings yes Mackie yes it is and I'll tell you the way I did this and the and it's um, the direction of it is so that it's uh, pinched up on the top portion of the wings and the way I the way I did it and I have no idea whether or not this is the technique or not but it's what I found um, worked for me is when I was starting out with my wing and here's my wing say it's flat okay I and right now I'm looking at the piece I'm looking down on it the top of it this is the bottom of the piece this is the bottom and I'm looking down on the top of it and I pinched starting at the end of the wing I just pinched my way putting them to it together and eventually it reached a place where it sort of naturally started to make the other two folds once I got to that point I went ahead and switched my direction and pinched along the one and then pinched again along the other and then I ended up with my fold the way I wanted it on the top so again here I am this is the bottom of the wing the underneath part of the wing and I'm looking down on it and I'm pinching I'm pinching I'm pinching right to the point where suddenly it starts to break along the other two lines and it just did that naturally and all I did at that point then was to switch directions and and pinch along those lines as they were created so when I was done then if now this is looking down on it I wound up with that effect and this is our um, our little creature pteranodon pteranodon I've never heard of this pteranodon I don't know if it's a real thing that existed at some point in time. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but uh, and you can make it then fly a little bit by holding the the edges of the wings then, and you pull on it, and its little head goes down. All right, so that's our model for today. Uh, a little more complicated than uh, the last couple of ones, but it was nice to use uh, our brains and really work on it for today. On uh, Monday, we're gonna be doing a uh, classic kind of fortune telling type of a model where you lift the little flaps and it will tell your fortune. So that one will be fun. Um, so that's all I have. Have a great rest of your Friday, TGIF, and um, a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you back here on Monday soon enough. Take it easy.